What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Ranch R Us. As always, guys, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We're fans, and we love hearing from other fans. And don't forget, guys, uh, right now, YouTube uh, content creators are having trouble getting their videos seen on Facebook because of analytic issues. So please, if you do enjoy our content, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll be the first ones to see our videos once they're uploaded. Now, today, we're going to talk a little bit of Sons of Anarchy. Now, this is one of mine and Lance, my co-host, favorite shows of all time. Uh, of course, we, he's, me and him, we might disagree on some things when it comes to Mayans. He's a big Mayans fan. I think it's an okay show. Not as good to me as the original Sons of Anarchy. But, you know, to each their own on things. But, there's one question that me and him, we have always argued over and we've always contemplated of who this person actually was. The homeless, the homeless woman from Sons of Anarchy. Now, this woman appeared numerous times throughout the show and it's always in a moment of need. She appeared one time when Gemma was right outside the hospital and really needed someone to talk to. She appeared another time when uh, Jax was at the graveyard and she uh, gave him a, uh, I believe it was a blanket to, uh, to, to sleep with. Um, she has, there's been, well there's just been numerous rumors that have always swirled around this one character. She also appeared, and this is a strange part, she appeared in Belfast when Jax and uh, the rest of the uh, Sons of Anarchy crew was actually going to uh, save Abel. And uh, she appears in, it's a brief scene, but she does appear in Belfast. So a lot of people have speculated she's a guardian angel. She is possibly the ghost of the woman killed uh, in John Teller's crash. There's been all of these different rumors that have gone out. And uh, Kurt Sutter, the creator of Sons of Anarchy, has mentioned a numerous times about this woman. Because he's been asked. Um, you know, it's kind of odd that this side character has kind of taken on a life of their own where people are actually more interested in learning about, you know, someone that appears in the background uh, more than what they appear, you know, than some of the main questions about the main characters. But this is something that I've always wondered. I know this is, like I said, my co-host Lance, me and him talk about this all the time. Who is the homeless woman? So, in an interview in 2012, Kurt Sutter mentioned that the homeless woman was Jesus Christ. Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Because at the end, uh, at the series finale, she gives, uh, she gives uh, a Jax Teller, I believe it's a blanket, and she tells him that it's time. Well, you see uh, wine, and, or I think it's her drinking wine and eating bread. And at the end of the episode, uh, when Jax Teller commits suicide, um, you see crows eating the bread while his blood is spilling on the ground. Now, makes sense to a perfect reference to you know you know a Jesus Christ-like character, but recently he's made a little bit of an odd statement when it comes to it, and it's just got me to thinking. What do y'all, the Sons of Anarchy fans out there, think about this? Uh, he goes on to state, hold on, let me find it here. Sons of Anarchy never revealed the identity of the homeless woman, but Kurt Sutter has now given an answer. During a Q&A session on Instagram, he was asked about the homeless woman and what, he, and what she represents. And while he gave an answer, it only made way for even more debate. Sutter explained she's the magic that anarchy summons and the mortality it extinguishes, and that she's the bringer of eternal light and the harbinger of all things dark. Fueling fan theories about her being a deity or even the guardian angel of Jax. Back in 2012, Sutter said the homeless woman is Jesus Christ 
which seems fitting when the aforementioned description of her role and with the elements related to her final appearance in the series. Now, she has, to me, <laughs> I kind of wish she would have left it as is. Because, like I said, um, there have been so much speculation that it was, let's say, Jesus Christ in the form of the woman that was killed in John Teller's crash. And that somehow that form is there, I guess, to haunt or, rep or, or remind Jax Teller of, of the deeds of his father or to stay on track about specific things. And it does seem like the homeless woman is kind of a guardian angel-like character. So when he states, the bringer of eternal light and the harbinger of all things dark, he's talking about he's actually kind of disputing that very character or, or that very thing. He's saying she's could be a harbinger of, of, of all things dark. So she's obviously not a guardian angel character. So it's, got, it's just got me to think and I'm like, why change it now? Like why after all of these years, like he hasn't commented on it to the best of my knowledge for a good eight years. Why now uh, change that up? Because to me, it was such a fitting ending when she gives Jax that uh, uh, blanket and she tells him, you know, that it's time. You know, it just, it made sense. It was, uh, you know, it was a uh, moment where she as a, uh, she was letting fans know exactly who she was. That she was an angel that was sent there to take Jax back home. And to let him finish his business. But I will admit, I don't like his newer answer. Um, I don't really understand what the magic that anarchy summons and the mortality it extinguishes. Let's face it, Kurt Sutter's a weird dude. I like Kurt Sutter's show. I even like The Bastard Executioner. I know a lot of people hated that show, but I was a huge fan of it. I even loved the intro music to it. But I mean, what. One Kurt Sutter show doesn't have great intro music. I mean, there's just no show out there that doesn't. Just got a great gritty feel to it. So overall, guys, and that's all I'm going to talk about with this. Like I am, uh, I'm disappointed. It kind of changed it. It kind of, I don't know, kind of puts it back on the market of what this character is, and I feel like he had settled the dispute once before but he's bringing it out into the open now again um, possibly maybe to garner attention for his new show you know because right now here's a screen man article talking about it so you know what I'm excited about the new season of Mayans but I'm also kind of I was kind of excited to hear his answer on this even though I kind of disagree I hated that he kind of put it out there and made it uh, something that was, um, I don't know, not complete, not set in stone, more ambiguous. I don't like ambiguous stuff when it comes to that. But hey, you know what? That's uh, a lot of saying Sons of Anarchy kind of had that mixture to it where a lot of the Indians were in, endings were ambiguous um, and, you know, they meant what they meant some characters took it uh, and uh, or some fans took it certain some ways and other fans took it other ways um, I will admit it was one of the best uh, endings of a show um, Sons of Anarchy had um, I only wish Game of Thrones would have been ended similar to that because I felt like you know Sons of Anarchy the ending allowed Mayans to take place was Mayans a spinoff that I really wanted? Not really, but it's what we got. I kind of wanted an Abel uh, spinoff, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe in the future, if they do Mayans right, we will get a spinoff about that. Maybe even a John Teller spinoff, so I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'll go ahead and let y'all go. I just wanted to know what y'all thought about it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me who you think the homeless woman is. Take care, guys.